This is airport area. A few minutes drive from here, we have the Kotoka International Airport. This area is known as a hub for hotels. On my left side, we have the Holiday Hotel. On my right, we have the Marriott Hotel. Right in front of me, the Ibis Hotel and many others around this place. Proud to the coronavirus pandemic, this place was one that bustles with a lot of activities. But because of the virus, there's not much activity here. Now, the hospitality business is one that has been affected hugely by this coronavirus pandemic. Lots of hotels being forced to shut down because of the virus. Let, let me paint the picture of how dire the, the case of the hospitality industry is. Now, the industry proper is connected to a lot of service providers. Now, we have the cure services, uh, we have the transport services, we have the uh, food and beverages, there's also the laundry services, the cleaning, the horticulture, security as well, the toiletry supplies, and, and many, many others. Now, all these service providers have been forced to halt their operations because of this pandemic. We know for a fact that hundreds of um, workers in this industry, and for that matter, thousands connected to these service providers, are currently not working. They've all been asked to go home because of the challenge. Right behind me is a holiday hotel, one of many hotels that have been forced to shut down because of the coronavirus. Now, proud to the virus, this was one of the popular hotels around this enclave, um, just a few meters away from the Kotoka International Airport proper. But um, this uh, hotel is currently not in operation. We're told that most of the hotels here, um, just a few are working. We'll find out what the situation is proper on that. But uh, this is a holiday hotel. What I'm going to do is to speak with uh, anybody in management to see whether they could give us details about the impact of the coronavirus on their uh, um, work. Boss, good afternoon. Do you have anybody from management available? Management yes. on board. Pardon? Management on board or? Management of the hotel. Or oh, they are not around. But is the hotel in operation? Nah. You've shut down? Yes. Okay. So we're told that uh, nobody from management is currently around and there's a shutdown of the place. Uh, not very um, strange because that's what we're seeing from most of the, the places. Uh, most places, the security people are still at post, but they tell us that it has been shut down. It's still the city newsroom, and I've come to Kempenske Hotel, one of the top hotels in Accra, Ghana. Actually, it's a five-star hotel. I'm going to see whether the situation we're seeing from other hotels is the same. Now, if you remember, some have fully shut, some are partially operating and all that, but what is the situation with this hotel, which is uh, one of the biggest we've seen? Let me go through the checks first. Uh, So I'm going to the, the check because of the coronavirus. If you go to many of the hotels, the first thing they do, give you the sanitizers and then check your temperature. Yes, boss. So my temperature is being checked. Okay, 35.2, I guess that's right. So which um, temperature I'm not allowed, where you'll call reinforcement? Over 38? Yeah. Then that one, you need to call in somebody. Okay, so I got a 35.2 and I've been cleared to go in. So let's see what I, I will get here. Now, I've been to this hotel many times to cover conferences, uh, to meet up people, business and all that. And usually, if you enter the lobby, it's a packed one. You have a lot of people here, but uh, I'm not really seeing the case. I'm going to meet up with uh, um, one of the uh, managers of this hotel and pick his thoughts about what is happening. And because of the social distancing, I'm going to go far away from him so we're all safe with what we're doing. Hi, welcome to the City Newsroom. Good afternoon, it's a pleasure to be with you. Okay. Can you give us your full name and what you do here? My name is Manish Nambir and I manage this hotel, okay. the Kempinski Hotel, Gold Coast City, Accra. Okay. So Malish manages this hotel. Malish, um, I've been here a couple of times prior to the uh, coronavirus. A pretty 
busy hotel, isn't it? But it's a different story here today. Well, unfortunately, you know, these are very testing times and uh, Accra, Ghana and Kempinski hotels haven't been immune to what's happening world over. Uh, we've had uh, to take a serious knock on our business and like you can see today, the hotel is empty. This lobby would have been full of people at this point of time, uh, if not for uh, what's happening with the pandemic. Yeah. At what point did the numbers start dwindling for you? Did it start when the borders were shut or just when the um, coronavirus started taking off globally? So, well, you know, uh, it's been cascading since the beginning of March. And uh, you can see that uh, when the borders were shut, of course, there was a, a lot of dilution in business. But uh, primarily, uh, the moment the pandemic uh, hit the shores of Europe, you could see a lot of cancellations for forward business for, for, for the month of April and May and June. Uh, a lot of international conferences that were supposed to be in Accra were already being cancelled. Uh, of course, when the when the borders were shut, uh, it it, it uh, stopped a lot of visitors coming in, and that had an effect. And of course, now with the lockdown again, you can see that uh, uh, it has further contributed to dilution in business. I've been through a couple of hotels today, and uh, some are partially shut, some are fully shut. What's the story with Kempinski? Okay, uh, Kempinski Hotel remains open. Obviously, we are complying with the uh, rules that the government has set, uh, set off, which says clearly that uh, we don't entertain people from outside into the restaurants uh, or, or into the gym and, and, and to the pool area. Uh, but we have residents in the hotel uh, who continue to enjoy the services in the hotel. We have a few people who are stranded in, in Accra and are not able to fly, so they continue to stay. Uh, we have have a few residents of Ghana who, who are enjoying the hotel in the lockdown period, so some of them staying in the hotel as well. So, but however, the numbers are nothing to boast about. Uh, we, we we have very low numbers. Uh, you know, they don't even actually support the cost of operating the hotel at this point of time. Mm -hmm. Now, for some of you, those who are doing the partial, and in your case, a full one, even though you have the low numbers, you still have to have your people still doing the work. Yeah. How how is that impacting your operation? Well, look, uh, what we've done at this part of time is we've encouraged all our employees to take leave and we're paying them for the leave. So uh, normally this hotel at this point of time would have about 400 people working in the hotel. We have reduced to about 30 people in the hotel. That's all we have at this point. All the other employees are enjoying leave. They're sitting at home while they get paid. And we have to wait and see how the system, uh, how it evolves and how we bring people back based on how the occupancy will pick up. Uh, there's a lot of costs that we're trying to curtail, you know, being, you can see the uh, uh, lights Power. are not necessarily on in this place uh, you know we're careful about the selection of food we're careful about what we're buying we've requested uh, some of our stakeholders to give us uh, you know better terms to pay them back ECG for example ECG the utilities uh, in a hotel like this would be a considerable amount so we're requesting that we have written to them formally requesting them to allow us uh, better better periods to pay back uh, so that we can utilize whatever free cash flow that we have to pay salaries for employees uh, rather than uh, pay some of these bills that that uh, that, that we would normal, normally uh, you know rake up okay well, wish you well and hope this passes away and something good comes out of it so that's it from the Kempinski um, Gold Coast Hotel. Uh, the, the challenge is everywhere, but uh, various hotels are looking at ways they can deal with it and hope that at the end of the day they will be to sail through. You're still watching the City News Show. My name is Vivian Kai Loco. I'm currently at the Oak Plaza Hotel. Uh, one of many hotels in the greater Accra region and one of many hotels not very far from the Kotaka International Airport. Now, from the other hub we came from, we saw the likes of uh, Marriott, the likes of Holiday Inn and all that. Let's see what Oak Plaza, for example, is doing. And I'm gonna to speak to um, the officials um, to see whether it's a, a total shutdown, a partial shutdown, like we're seeing with um, some of the other hotels. Hello, welcome to the City Newsroom. Yeah, thank you. What's your name, please? Joshua Laya J. Okay, and what do you do here? I'm the loss control and compliance manager. Okay. So what's the situation with this hotel? Is it a fully shut down or you're still in operation? Uh, yeah, partially shut down. Uh, we have some in-house guests before the ban on travel. And so they cannot go out. And so they, due to that, we have them in here and we have skeleton staff taking care of them. We have a staff workforce of about 140. And uh, we can see about 130 at home. Yes, hundred. Just about ten people yes, working. Few wow. people, yes. Skeleton staff, just to make sure we take good care of the people in there. Yeah. Some of one thirty people at home, 
and uh, that is going to be for April and May. Okay, so moving forward, what are your aspirations with this development? What, what, are, what is your worst fear and what is your best fear, the outcome of this? Yeah, as we speak now, we have shut down totally our East Legon branch. That is a total shutdown. And for years, as we speak, like I mentioned, we have more than 130, approximately 130 staff who are at home now. Now, if this continues, people have gone out of job. Yes, and so we, we, we just hope and trust that. And that is why we, we, we trust in that the government could help pay maybe 50% of salary for staff for the period whilst they are home. If that is done, at least that would cushion people for, 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 for a season. Uh, we hope if these things should go off in the, in the minimum short, shortest time, uh, business will, will bounce back. So the hotel business has been heavily affected by this um, lockdown as well as the coronavirus. Now, if you look around the greater Accra region, for example, about 80% of hotels have been forced to shut down because of this challenge. I'm going to speak to one of the hotels who uh, hasn't really shut down, but they are on the verge of shut down because of this challenge and pick their thoughts on what is happening and how the virus is impacting their business. So let me bring in the, um, the boss of Airport View Hotel. We're told immediately the, the rules of engagement increase to directives on um, us closing our borders and all that. The, the businesses or the numbers to the hotels just um, plunged. Is that the, what was the case? Yes, indeed. Um, basically, in Ghana, a lot of our visitors uh, come in for business and to, uh, um, let's say, a smaller extent for leisure. So um, we have a lot of conferences coming up in Ghana, for example, both external conferences which are held in Ghana and uh, internal conferences by institutions in Ghana. And uh, I think uh, the last uh, the directive to help us contain this was for meetings to be curtailed. So once meetings are curtailed, of course, people don't travel from one country to the other to hold such meetings and also local conferences will also not be held by institutions. In addition, uh, some of these countries also have their own restrictions as well, and that will also add up to uh, whatever local restrictions we have here and impact the business in general. So uh, yeah, moving forward, after this thing um, goes away, what plans does the industry have to recover from this uh, challenge? Um, generally, I mean, it's, uh, we are hoping this uh, pandemic uh, solution would be found very shortly and uh, we hope it will go away uh, i.e. medication and vaccination will be found. Uh, once that is done, we hope that Ghana being one of the major centers, especially in Africa, would um, would um, would ride the storm. I mean, we still remain a preferred destination and so once this is over, we expect that things will pick up from where we left it.